turn around to me recently and say, can you not be on your own for an hour and a half, two hours? And I'm like, yeah, I can, but that means that I'm sitting by a computer, not being able to have a cup of tea, not being able to go to the toilet, waiting for the next person coming in. I can't get out the door. I had a chimney fire before Christmas. Do you know, it's, it's okay someone saying, you'll be all right on your own, but, but what would they feel like if they were tied to a chair and you walked out the door and left them? Do you know, like, I'm not... I'm not the sort of person that is like, while well, I'm in a wheelchair, feel sorry for me because I'm a perfectly independent person in my head, but physically, I'm not. A lot of my friends would have disabilities, so I always ask them, is there anything, is there anything that I can do? If there's anything I can do, tell me and I can pass on the message because not everybody's got a big mouth like me. I spoke to government members before and about my own issues, so Brussels, I suppose, is just one step higher. But in the end, people are just people, and whether they're in government or whether they're people in a little meeting, it's about making decisions, and if I can change it, one decision that they make that's going to affect... You know, people are people, and they do have feelings, so you can put your story to them and change something then it's all good. Michael, Salome and Sammy arrive in Brussels for the seventh EU meeting of people experiencing poverty. There they meet with other delegates and through their combined backgrounds come up with recommendations to improve EU social inclusion policy. It's absolutely fantastic, and all the people that's here are so friendly. They're, you know, so delighted. I can delighted. I'm here and ready. The Irish group present the combined report on the issue of housing at the European Forum. They discuss what is working well, what is not working well, and what can be improved. The issue of housing in Ireland impacts on many different groups who experience poverty and social exclusion. Asylum seekers are not given any choice in the type of accommodation that they would want or that would suit them. In Ireland, funding is not available for 24-hour personal assistance, like in my case. Such supports would give people the ability to leave homelessness and live more independently. I was a little bit nervous. I got through it, I got a bit of a tingle. For what reason, I don't know. Greater efforts need to be put into ensure that policies are implemented and enforced. I was very nervous starting off, but then I, you know, kind of got a bit better. And even later on, I kind of spoke a bit more, which was which is good. I think the more public speaking I get, the better I, I get at it. Policies need to be closely monitored and reviewed. It is essential to engage with the people affected by policy. Listening to other people's stories and where they'd actually come from, what they've been through, I thought was, was good. I thought that was the best part. After the presentations, dialogue and discussions focus on tackling the main poverty issues. People came up with their own personal experiences as well. People are given the opportunity to input more into it. And now actually we are going to come up with the three key points we want to present back tomorrow. We're now putting our report together. Uh, we had a meeting there with several of the countries and we have finalised that report but we have to read out. Uh, I have to read out four, four points that we made out, we done yesterday with eight countries. I'm not nervous, no, not a bit nervous, just excited, you know. We've come on this trip and make use of it and I think we've made a great job of it so far, you know. The EU should develop a comfortable right to housing involving minimum standards. Sometimes it's very, very hard work to keep going and it's progress that never comes quickly. So the first thing is to hope that the people who come to the meeting get energy to keep going in this work and that they help our organisations to be more effective and louder and clearer about what it is we, we want to achieve. This will contribute to the overall EU goal of ending street homelessness. 
Member states should recognise... The themes that are being discussed here, there will be a communication made by the Commission and the, and the Council of Ministers on this theme at the latter part of this year, and we hope the results of this meeting will inform that communication. Thank you. Political willingness is needed to be able to be hopeful or to, to, to be able to see a bright future, especially for people living in poverty, because it's a reality and it has to be seen like that. I would really like to see all these ideas and what has been debated for the last seven years now translated into action. I'm not sure whether things will be changed, but if we can help a little bit to improve in our country and other people can improve a little bit. And all countries are not perfect. Every country can be improved. And if we can tell the government how to improve it, then that helps. But this is coming from the roots level. This is not mid-class people. This is not coming from the upper-class people. This is coming from the roots. I enjoyed every single minute of it. It's one of the finest trips that I ever went on.